A painting exhibition called Vibrance 2 has attracted a large number of local and foreign art lovers, was held recently in Vientiane capital with aims to represent the warm relations between Laos and Great Britain. Many connections between the UK uh, and Laos. Speaking at the opening of the exhibition recently where it was attended by local and foreign art lovers, British ambassador to the Lao PDR, Hugh Evans, said that Jen Wallen's work represents the warm relations between the Lao PDR and the United Kingdom by showing the culture and nature of the two countries. I was very impressed as well that the uh, musicians are songs, so it brought back some, some stirring memories. Um, this is Vibrance 2. I had one other exhibition, it was Vibrance. Um, my name is Jan Wallen and I'm resident here in Laos. I'm from London, England. Um, and my theme is uh, just Laos and Great Britain, the warm relations between the people, which the British Embassy are really promoting. Speaking to our Laos national television English news team, the artist Jen Wallen said that this is her second solo exhibition in Laos, which displayed the 14 diverse styles of colorful and meaningful painting featuring Lao culture, nature, animals, textiles, and other scenes typical of Laos and Great Britain. So I did one piece here called Abbey Road in connection with the Beatles. Instead of the Beatles crossing the road, I decided, what about four Lao elephants? So I just love the colours of, of Lao. That's how I went from the theme of Great Britain and Lao. I thought, right, elephants, water buffalo, beautiful birds of paradise. And um, I've done some pieces of England, the rolling hills of England, to say, look at, look at the difference. Um, we have the sunsets, the sunrises over the Mekong River. It's really, I think it's just colour. I mean, when I approach the canvas, I, I go with, it's like a journey that begins. I don't know what's going to happen until the paint hits the actual canvas. Um, and the colour starts coming through and it could be an elephant, it could be a plant, it could be anything. It is highlighted that Jen Wallen is an artist that is residing in Vientiane, Laos, and is the first British artist whose painting, called Then and Now, became Lao Poster Stamp, of which is then presented to the Queen of England on her last birthday as a gift. I do. My work is extremely diverse, I mean, from abstract to a fine portrait um, to my signature piece, which is called Silver Lining, and that's actually on my business card, one of my favourites, um, right to a portrait, um, to an abstract, it could be anything. I jump from one to the other, it's the way I work, from one canvas to the other. Um, I do have uh, one piece I'm very proud of, and I hope that the Lao people are proud of it. Um, I painted a picture of two girls, then and now, one girl uh, with a basket on her back and the other girl, educated girl, going to school, both looking towards the Buddha. And the Lao post office um, really enjoyed the piece and they decided, OK, let's make a stamp of this. So uh, from the painting, it went on to a Lao stamp. And actually, it's a real privilege for me because it's history in Lao because I'm the first British artist to have their art printed on a stamp. And it was presented from the British Embassy to the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II and she loved it and she accepted it into her private collection in Buckingham Palace. So it's history and it's an honour. The art exhibition runs alongside the Lao Fashion Week and Jen Wallen has agreed to auction some of her pieces to help founding the Lao Young Designers Fund, where it will help send this year's winner of the Lao Young Designer to study fashion in the famous Ace Mode Institute in Paris, France.